बसमीम तो आज का हमारा जो है टॉपिक है दैट इज जियो लाइट्स तो जियो लाइट्स जो है इट्स बेसिकली ये जो होता है इट्स अ थ्री डायमेंशनल नेटवर्क थ्री डायमेंशनल थ्री डी नेटवर्क ऑफ एलमोनियम सिलिकेट्स एलमोनियम सिलिकेट दैट मीन्स इसमें जो कंपोनेंट बेसिक होता है दैट इज एलमोनियम एलमोनियम सिलिकन एंड ऑक्सीजन इसके अलावा इसमें होते हैं समटाइम्स वाटर सो ओवरऑल यू कैन से लाइट इज बेसिकली द्री डायमेंशनल नेटवर्क ऑफ हाइड्रेट्स ऑफ एलमोनियम सिलिकेट्स बेसिकली दाइड्रेट्स इसमें वाटर भी होता है इन साइड ड्राफ्ट हाइड्रेट्स सो इट्स थ्री डी नेटवर्क ऑफ एलमोनियम सिलिकेट्स फाइन तो उसमें होता क्या है बेसिकली वी नो दैट इन दिलिकेट फेमिली और बेसिक इन विच एस आई फोर टेट्राहाइड्रल तो इस टेट्राहाइड्रल स्ट्रक्चर में वन ऑफ द सिल्क एटम गेट्स रिप्लेस बाई एलमोनियम तो ओवरऑल अगर हम देखिए तो इसमें वी है थ्री थ्री डायमेंशनल टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर लाइक सिलिकॉन इज हेयर एंड देन वी हैव सो दिस इज ऑक्सीजन 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 तो दिस वे ये एक थ्री डायमेंशनल नेटवर्क यहाँ से बना लेता है टेट्राइडल नेटवर्क फिर यहाँ पे इन फॉर एग्जाम्पल हियर दिस साइड वी हैव सिलिकन एंड देन वी हैव अ थ्री डायमेंशनल नेटवर्क हियर आल्सो इन दिस होल थ्री डायमेंशनल नेटवर्क ऑफ दिस सिलिकन ऑक्साइड वन ऑफ द सिलिकन एटम गेट रिप्लेस बे एलमोनियम सो इफ यू रिप्लेस दिस सिलिकन बे एलमोनियम so we have this type of a structure fine so that's what we call it as a three dimensional network of aluminum silicates now usme jo charge overall hota hai negative charge that is balanced by usually by the sodium so that's we call, we call it one of the most commonly used uh, zeolite is a sodium aluminum silicate fine the so sodium aluminum silicate mein hota kya it forms like a honeycomb structure so it forms like a honeycomb structure It forms like a honeycomb structure. So this aluminium silicate is basically a honeycomb structure. You these now inside this honeycomb structure, these are pores. Remember this; these are pores. So honeycomb structure. These are pores. So these pores usually have water in them. That's why we say these are hydrates. Now because of the presence of these pores, these materials they get interesting applications. Fine. Now. so one of the important applications is uh, before good the application portion these materials are these are the inorganic materials so we can see them these are the three times will frame work inorganic materials inorganic materials that means they are not soluble usually in water inorganic materials crystalline inorganic materials so they have these pores in them so they act as they are like the molecules they are like the sieves kind of sieves so so they act as sieves i can say they are molecular sieves so zeolites act as molecular sieves so since they have this pore size so because of the presence of this pore size this type of cavities they can take up load this size so they can take the small molecules like carbon dioxide so they can take up the molecules like uh, ethanol they can take the molecules like ammonia they can take the molecules like ethanol water and so on even they can take the ions like calcium magnesium and so on now because of this typical character they have lot of applications and this character of this presence of these pores and molecular sieves it makes them the application in the modern technology fine now because of this uh, presence of these pores they have various applications so we'll go to the application part which is main here so the applications of applications of zeolites application number 1 so since they uh, they can get water inside so they are used to remove the water 
from various sources. For example, we have solvents in the lab, different solvents like dichloromethane, we have solvents like ethyl estate, hexene. So from them, they usually have some water content in them. So what we do, we take these uh, molecular sieves or we take the, we can take these uh, zeolites and pour, you know, the solid materials. Since they are not soluble, so get them inside the organic solvents. They will take up slowly the water. Hence, we remove water from them. So that's called as drying. So it's called drying of solvents. So solvents can be dried, one number one. Dahim. Now, they can, they are used in the petroleum industry. Petroleum industry. They have interesting applications in the petroleum industry. So what they can do there, the application like they can convert ethanol. This is an interesting application, ethanol in into they act as catalysts basically. They convert ethanol into oil, different types of oils. So they have applications of uh, the cracking applications, cracking in the petroleum industry, cracking applications. So they can do the isomerization also. Isomerization. So they basically also have the catalytic applications. These are basically some of the catalytic applications. Catalytic applications in the organic chemistry. Organic chemistry. So they have catalytic applications. Now, another important application of these materials is that since they can exchange the cations, fine. So if we take now this little bit will focus on this application we have seen in the, our last lecture that when we have those ion exchange resonance they can do the softening of water same is the case here that we can use the zeolites for softening of water so for that purpose what we'll do we have a setup like So here inside this tank we have a zeolite bed. We have a zeolite bed here. So it has different pores inside zeolite bed. From this side we'll pour the hard water. As we know hard water means which has excess concentration of Iron like calcium, magnesium, they are salts like, uh, you know, as we have seen in the last, hard water means calcium, magnesium, and they are salts like chlorides, sulfates, bicarbonate. Okay. So, when we hard water from here, now this, this is what we use zeolite, usually sodium aluminum silicate. So, it is actually sodium loaded. So this water it get passes through these you know the calcium calcium ions they they fit into these pores whereas those or un pores se kya hota hai ki sodium ions they get laser sodium and small potassium ions jo bhi hai if it is sodium aluminum silicate the sodium comes in the water while as the calcium magnesium they will get loaded here iske alawa ions like sulfate will also come chloride will come since anions will not get trapped to hamare se you water yahan niklega so this water will be free from these ions. I can see the concentration has got reduced. So, so it's called a softening of water. Because ion is like calcium and it has been removed. So this is the concept of softening of water. Then we have to load back this with the sodium. For that purpose, we have to charge this with, and we have to add here, highly concentrated solution of brine solution, that is sodium chloride. So this is the simple application of the softening of water. Now in this case we cannot see it is a demineralization because ion is the BB symbol which is the chloride sulfate. Agar hum wo chloride sulfate by carbon, this is called it cannot be called as deionization or demineralization. Just tarah humne dekha tha previous case mein jo ion kya naam tha iska ion oxidation. So aur ek application jo iska hum kahenge that is they can do ion exchange phenomena ion exchange process so because of that so we can do the softening of water 
तो और एक एप्लीकेशन की होगी सॉफ्टनिंग ऑफ वाटर ठीक और इतना ही नहीं हम इसको दोबारा रियूज कर सकते हैं अगेन एंड अगेन वी कैन डू रियूजिंग ऑफ दिस और यूज करने के लिए वी हैव टू लोड बैक दिस विद सोडियम क्लोराइड सोल्यूशन जब हम हाई कंसेंट्रेशन यूज करेंगे तो ये कैल्शियम विल कम आउट फ्रॉम द साइट्स ठीक है ना सो दिस इज अनदर एप्लीकेशन कॉल है सॉफ्टनिंग ऑफ वाटर नाउ इन जनरल यहां पे हम इस तरह से इसको दिखा सकते हैं द फॉर्म ऑफ रिएक्शन दैट इफ दिस इज आवर सोडियम जियोलाइट सोडियम एलमोनियम सिलिकेट जेड फॉर जियो लाइट सोडियम तो इफ यू ट्रीट दिस विथ अगर हमें वाटर सॉफ्टनिंग करनी हो तो वी हैव कैल्शियम मैग्नीशियम एंड बाई कार्बोनेट्स एज वी नो कैन बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सल्फेट हार्ड वाटर एंड क्लोराइड तो होता क्या है दीज दे विल ऑक्यूपाई दीज साइट सो वी हैव सो दे विल ऑक्यूपाई दीज साइट सो वी हैव now calcium z magnesium z so we have calcium z magnesium zeolite and plus sodium bicarbonate h co3 twice sodium chloride sodium sulfate so is tarah se jo hai ye water hamare water mein aaye nahi hai fir now agar is ye now this is the जियोलाइट इज लूडेड ना विद आइनस बिकॉज दिस आइन सेव रिमूव इसको हम रिजनरेट दोबारा कर सकते हैं बाई यूजिंग हाई कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ सोडियम क्लोराइड सो फॉर दैट रिजनरेशन विल शो हियर रिजनरेशन रिजनरेशन ऑफ जियोलाइट रिजनरेशन ऑफ जियोलाइट में so we have calcium z magnesium z zeolite loaded with calcium magnesium so we treat with this sodium chloride high concentration so we'll get na2z back na2z back plus कैल्शियम क्लोराइड मैग्नीशियम क्लोराइड अब देखिए ये आयन यहां बन गए तो दे कैन बी इजली दे कैन गो थ्रू द वाटर बिकॉज दे आर सॉलिबल सो इन दिस वे वी हैव गॉट दिस बैक हम ये वापस मिल गए तो इस बैड पे हम दोबारा अपना सॉफ्ट हार्ड वाटर यूज करेंगे गॉट द सॉफ्ट वाटर सो दिस वे वी कैन डू दिस वर्क आई कैन अगेन सो यहाँ पे दोबारा विल गोट द स्लाइड ये हमारा जियोलाइट से थ्री डायमेंशनल नेटवर्क ऑफ Aluminium silicate, three-dimensional network because individual silicate is a tetrahedral unit because silicates का बड़ा topic है यहाँ पे हम उसके deep में नहीं जाएंगे तो overall they have like a honeycomb structure since इसमें sieves होती है we can make use of these sieves rather modern technology these sieves have been taken to consideration for different applications like drying of solvents because they can take these small molecules like water. they can be used for petroleum industry formation of oil cracking applications isomerization applications catalytic applications and ion exchange process we can do the softening of water through this process that we this is our setup this is the bed of molecular this uh, this zeolite and then we pass the hard water from here calcium and magnesium will occupy the site and then we'll get the water which is free from these cations तो इस तरह से हम यहाँ द फॉर्म ऑफ रिएक्शन दिखाएंगे ये हमारा सोडियम बेड है जिसमें सोडियम ऑक्यूपाइड है सो विल पास द हार्ड वाटर दिल गेट दिस एंड दिस आइंस आर रिमूव फिर रिजनरेशन पर्पज के लिए विल यू लोड दिस विथ सोडियम क्लोराइड सोल्यूशन विल पास थ्रू हियर कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड सोल्यूशन ऑफ सोडियम and then we get it and change it to the back and back to ye to gaze light so zeolite light some lab mein synthesize kar le nature mein bhi present hote hain lekin jo zyada hum lab mein synthesize zeolites karte hain they have better applications than what actually exists in the nature i believe this is enough for this small topic and because hum isme deep usme jana to nahi hai isme to bas ek introductory topic i think this is more than enough for this purpose so this is all about the zeolites which act uh, actually the molecular sieves are the fencing fancy 
honeycomb structures for different applications in day-to-day -day life.